So now I'm going to show you the chords for um, the pre-chorus, chorus, and a bridge of hysteria, okay? So it's gonna start like this when it finishes that little lick and you go. And then it goes. And that's a, I, I got a note in night, okay? Right there on that lyric. So you're doing a little lick, which I taught you in the other tutorial. And I'll play through this whole thing. And then I'll show you the chords. pre-chorus. I guess that's a whole can't stop this feeling, the can't stop this fight part, okay? So um, what that is, is you're playing a D chord, regular D chord, but then um, take your thumb around and play the um, second fret at the uh, low E string and mute just the A string. Just mute that with your the tip of your thumb, okay? So now you're playing a D with an F sharp chord in the bass. Like that, okay? So you go D over, it's called D over F sharp. You go D over F sharp, then play a G, then play a C chord. So D over F sharp, G, C. You can kind of strum it like this if you want. And then you go D over, uh, D over F sharp, G, and then play B minor. Strumming it. And then D over F sharp, G, C again. And then you play C, G over B, D. Okay, so what that is, is C, and then um, play, it's like a G chord, it's like you're playing a G chord, only don't play the low E string. Instead, the lowest note you'll play is that B, um, B note right there, which is second fret at the A string. So you play. So it goes C, and then that G chord with a B in the bass. So don't mute the low E string. So C, G over B, D. Okay, that's a whole pre chorus. One more time, all the way through. So um, I got a note tonight starting on uh, G over F sharp, G, C. I'm oh, sorry, D over F sharp. D over F sharp, G, C. Does that? That's the first time. Then D over F sharp G B minor. You're alone tonight. Then D over F sharp G C. Then C G over B D. Okay. Then it goes into the chorus. The chorus is the hysteria part when you go and you're gonna play E minor, but play a regular E minor chord, but also hold down this third fret at the B string, so it makes it E minor seventh chord. So you go, E minor 7th, C, D. And then E minor 7th, C, D. This is the whole pattern for the chorus. E minor 7th, C, D. And it either does that three or four times. I think it's three times, but it's either three or four. The other thing that you can do when you're playing that D, you can actually also then put down your pinky for a second and you know, um, so like, if it's like, when you get that feeling, then you can actually, so just put down your pinky there at the third fret of the high E string. You can't really hear them doing that on guitar on the album, but it, it's another little thing you can add there. So instead, you'd go like this. E minor 7th, the chorus, C, 2, D. E minor 7th, C, D. So just putting down your pinky there. You can do that if you want to, but it's not really necessary. Cool, so then we go to the bridge. So when the bridge comes in, there's like some drums and it just hits like an A chord for just a second, like an A power chord, like. And then you hear it again. Just hits A for a second, okay? Then while the guitar solo is playing, you just play A, two, D, just all down strokes. just does this the whole time, the entire guitar solo. A, A, two, D, 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 
And then you'll hear it goes right before the pre-chorus comes back in, it goes to C. Uh, and plays C. And then goes into the rest of the pre-chorus. Um, so after the C, for the last pre-chorus, instead of going to C first, it, it holds C for just a second. And then goes D over F sharp, G, B minor. And just plays through, just like with the regular pre-chorus. So cool, and then it ends with the whole leg. Dun, 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 you know, that whole thing. This is the whole song. Hope this helps you out. <laughs>